not gonna be able to see this video on here on the camera though, but this is the video I caught in the chariot. This is the video I caught in the chariot. Um, so check this out, man. Do you see it? I can't see it, can you? A little bit. See, they're gonna be cutting on and off and everything, man. They steadily just floating across the sky. What the hell? Oh, that looks like that looks kind of like the Phoenix Light shit. Yeah, yeah, but they was all separate though, cause yeah. at first they was moving side to side. Oh, that's nuts. You know, you can see them. I mean, if you watch it long enough, you can see them actually moving slightly. Uh. Moving around. Wow. What the hell? This is cool. Fighting with this girl, man. These bitches will drive you nuts, man. That is crazy. Let's go. Bring it down. Let's get some other time. Get to it. 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 Here, when I come here you go. Here you go. That's who uh, we want to be his lover in the movie. Oh yeah, it's tell, 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 tell. Yeah. yeah, he was. That's his. We just like your father. You see? Okay. You see it? They look like they'd be a good couple. Yeah, bunch of fucking faggots, man. They probably they promoting this shit like it's fucking normal and shit, man. It's fucking faggots. It's the most high pleasure to destroy this motherfucking place when we do do it. It's gonna be our pleasure too. You see this motherfucker go down. Simply just homosexual side of shit. Yeah, how they go they're gonna turn Spider-Man into a faggot. You know what I'm saying? They already turned one of the green one, they already turned one of the green lanterns into a faggot. You know the funny thing is Spider-Man's a good character too. Yes, they, they say the people in Marvel say Spider-Man is the best character ever. Because it's unlimited what you can do with the character in the story. You know what I mean? He's just all crazy, hanging upside down, talking shit, cracking jokes. Now they want to turn him into a faggot. Right, right, right. What kind of shit is that, man? That's America. And people will probably love it too. They're like, oh yeah, it's the greatest Spider-Man ever. But that would make him the bad guy. That would me, if Spider-Man was a faggot, that would mean he was a super villain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would mean, turn him into a villain. Goddamn faggot. Yeah, a goddamn faggot. That shit is disgusting. We might as well just get the faggot stuff real quick for that, man. Let me start with this, then. Go into the faggot. To exit, this is Jude 1, uh, uh, 15, verse. To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. And of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. That's a bunch of all these ungodly goddamn faggots. Yeah, they're trying to, you know, it's like Spider-Man, that's a children's character. And they're trying to, uh, they're trying to turn a children's character into a homosexual. Oh, it's just like Elmo in Sesame Street. If y'all didn't know, the, the, the dude that plays Elmo, what's his name? He was I don't homosexual, even know. And the news came out that he was raping little boys. Like, the, the guy, the puppeteer that controlled Elmo and does the voice for Elmo, he got caught having sex with little boys. Okay? And you're letting your children watch Sesame Street. And now they want to make uh, turn uh, uh, Spider-Man into a homosexual. So you gonna tell me this isn't a, a pure satanic agenda? You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. So the, the people, people don't even get mad about that. There should be people protesting in the streets for uh, Sesame Street to get taken off the air. You know what I mean? But you got still people sit buying Elmo tapes. Mm -hmm. they, they don't even care. They gonna let still watch, let the little child watch some Elmo. There's some asshole, some demon around here want to get into somebody else's business. This man arguing with his wicked ass bitch. Oh, you talking about the cops? He's leaving. Yeah. You know, some wicked motherfucker called the cop though. And then the wicked cop comes and does his uh his wicked deed. 
Fucking motherfucker. I hate them. I hate this fucking society, man. Yeah, you should be able to, if that's your woman, that's your business. That's his right. That's his yeah. business. I it didn't really want to look over there. I didn't give a shit. The scripture says a woman is a possession. You know what I mean? That's why when you talk, everybody says it in the hood all the time. They say, that's my bitch. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That that's bitch right. belongs to me. That's my bitch. That's my property. A woman's property. You hear lesbians saying, that's my bitch. Yeah, they do. But then they'll have a problem when we say it. How come we can't say it? I say it anyway. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm going to say it regardless. Let me read this off. Romans 1 and... Uh, um, 23 and change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like the corruptible man and to birds into four-footed beasts and creeping things wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts uh, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves yeah, that's why all the only thing people care about is uh just like all these women care about is fucking as many dudes as possible, getting paid. Because most women ain't gonna fuck you for free anyway. You gotta give them some money. You know what I'm saying? You buy them something to eat. So, you know what I mean? Something to wear. Yeah, you know, something to wear. You gotta do something for them. You know, a okay. cell phone bill, put minutes on their little their little uh what you call them phones at church. Oh, them boosts. Boost <laughs> they still that's got the they still, phone the hood. Oh, boost. they still got the boosts. Yeah, sure do. All oh, raggedy ass shit. Yeah, that line got the Obama phones now. Yeah, they got cheap lines too, man. I'll be talking about folks that got boost service, man. You, you can barely understand them on the fucking phone. Um, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie? Yeah, hey, you got a you got, let me ask you a question. Yeah, what's up, man? You have a problem with all these faggots running around everywhere? Does that bother you when you it see a faggot? All, does it, why doesn't it bother you? Because they aren't doing anything to me that it bothers me. But they do, though. You know, they spread diseases. They can infect your brother and sister. They can infect them with some kind of deadly disease, like an antibiotic resistant form of gonorrhea. Yeah, they you could. <laughs> Couldn't a straight guy do that, too? But they could. An adulterer and a demon. Because yeah. mostly straight guys ain't straight, they faggots. Yeah. They, 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 they have sex with women out. and men and dogs too. A lot of them in a bestiality. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you should have a problem with all these faggots walking around up here. Yeah. You know that you just hear they just trying to turn Spider-Man into a faggot? For real? Yeah, you didn't hear about it? No, like Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man too. Right, or the something? character, right. The character because the actor to play Spider-Man, he's yeah. a he's a homosexual. Oh really? So yeah. he's requesting that they make him gay. Right, he already got a lover picked out. You know, my whole, you, you know, all the, the equal sign stuff. I mean, I, I don't have any problem with, you know, the homosexuals getting married, but I don't think they should be adopting kids and stuff. Hell no. Dude, when they adopt a kid, they're just gonna rape him. Yeah, and the fact you know that fuck that kid's psyche. Yeah, they will. Yeah. You got a lot of that. You know, uh, Russia, not too long ago, Russia just passed a new law saying yeah. Amer American people ain't allowed to adopt kids no more. Yeah, did you hear about that? Uh, they was raping them. Yeah, in the Russia, they, you know, they, like, pretty much outlaw sexuality, like, yeah. Yeah. we're under nothing. Your policy is to keep it in the Yeah. What you guys know about RFID? That's the market of peace. Yeah. They're going to they yeah. try to implant everybody with this shit. Yeah. It's yeah. the scripture. You know what's in the scripture? It's right? already begun. It's yeah. been here. And you know what they can do? They can, like, you know, make you walk, make you talk, <laughs> control your appetite, wake you up to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell, telepathic stuff. Yeah, you tell people that, man. They think you're crazy, man. I know, right? But they perfected the, perfected the technology to the point that you're right, they can control your emotion, control yeah. if you want to eat or not. Say if you, uh, I mean, you've heard there was a time that, especially here in Columbus, there's a lot of people turning on one way streets, yeah. well, on the one way highway itself, yeah. you know? It was a large cluster of it going on at one point. Like it was happening like every day for like a fucking like a half a year, man. Well, you look at like, They're controlling know. these people to do that type of shit. Now all of a sudden it stops. Well, you look at like James Holmes and Adam Lenz and stuff and the whole MK Ultra idea, you know what I mean? Did they do it on their own or did, you know, the government go into their head and like look for their triggers and like set them on somehow? Ain't there a movie? What's that movie? Oh, um, the Denzel? Mind yeah. Control. I, I know, but yeah, like with the Adam Lanza, 
There was many people that said there was multiple shooters. And the Colorado shooter, they said there was multiple shooters. Many witnesses said there was multiple shooters. Yeah. Now, right? What happened with that? You know? What yeah. happened with that? Just like with that Sandy Hooks. The multiple gut shooters. Now, hold on. Well, I'm getting the shooters mixed up. James Holmes. That's what I'm saying. Well, both the Batman shooting. They said the Batman shooting had multiple shooters. Yeah. But the, like the world of Colorado, that Adam Lanza guy, he's a smart. He couldn't do that. He couldn't do that all. Yeah, I know, right? So they, they had some, they had some trained military killing machine go up in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a uh, Jason Bourne type of guy. Yeah. It's all serving a purpose. Yeah. It's all serving a purpose. They, the elites, these, hidden, these people that's right. making these look, they making, they got a hidden agenda. That's yeah. why they set this things up. Just like 9-11, when 9-11 passed, how many Patriot Act laws have passed? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what the, RFA, the RFID can do to males? They can give you ED. So, like, yeah. I'm serious. They can give you I ED. I doubt it. No, I believe it. I'm serious. They can give right. you I ED. And so you can't get an erection and you get crazy. Right, right. And then, so think about it. If they gave every single male ED right. in the world, yeah, cause it, yeah, because the elite, they got a plan where they, they want to reduce the world population by 80%. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, What's it, seven billion now. Yeah, something like that. A, lot, a little bit over seven billion. You can't even count on these people. Right, right. But that's why they pushing agendas like homosexuality, abortion, uh, women's independence. You know, what I mean, that's why they, that's one of the reasons they're faggots too. I mean, they actually they, they worship death. They worship well, and the thing is, I mean, they can pull the plug on you know the American people at any time because well. Well, basically, think about this, right? Everybody keeps their money in the bank, right? And you got, you know, China, Russia, all these people we owe debt to, right? So, what's stopping the bankers? True. Yeah, what's stopping the bankers from being bankers over Americans? What's stopping them from cutting a backer deal with China and Russia, you know, behind closed doors? You wake up the next day and all your assets are gone. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. It's going to happen. It's, yeah. it's, 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 already, it's definitely going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh -huh. it is we, we prayed that it happened. Well, right now, we, we need to, you know... The beginning of what's going to happen is, of course, you know, who is it? China, Russia, Iran, Libya. I mean, all the nations overseas, they stopped using American dollars. Yeah. You know? And all that currency that's over there floating around, you know, to yeah, I believe you know, it. All them RFID, RFNs floating around, that's just yeah. hyperinflation. Well, I mean, you know, I mean... Superinflation. Well, that's the thing with college these days, too, you know? The rate, the, the rate of inflation has surpassed tuition. Oh, wait a minute, you saw, you heard that, uh, the college, uh, yeah, it went up. Yeah. It went up again. And if you look at it inflation throughout the years, the rate of inflation has surpassed the rate of tuition. Yeah. So it essentially means you don't have to scam unless, it's you, unless it's, you're getting a full ride or you college know, is a joke. your daddy's paid. No, yeah, the only thing, yeah, college is a big joke, man. It's like, there's all kinds of documents. We laugh at these people all the time. Yeah. Like, we debate with people, and they're all retarded. Yeah. Like, they they don't know basic things. They don't know basic history. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't know what's wrong. Yo, check it out. In 19, in, in uh, 1913, we're talking about inflation. In, let me get to it. In 1913, a $1 bill would be like $23.45. One dollar bill. Okay, today. <laughs> you see, you watch the old Western movies. They go up in there with less than a dollar. They get a place to stay. They get a hooker. They get a bottle of whiskey. You know, for like under a dollar. You know what I mean? Yeah, today is less than a dollar. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, I, I just feel like they, the inflation need to, they need to regulate our economy. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. because take Les Wexler, for example, right? He's probably got about $5 billion, right? And um, he can take four billion of that, yeah, put into a CD in a bank, get a, a 0.15 interest rate on it, and give himself a 60 million dollar salary every year by well, sitting on his ass. Well, that's he how can, he lives, though. They, he can those, sell his company. Those super yeah. rich, uh, yeah. they, they don't live off their money; they live off their interest. Yeah, exactly. That's actually called um, what's that? Uh, that's how you. That's what's supposed to be taxed. Yeah. You're not supposed to tax someone wages like something you work for. You go to work for like a couple hours, you get a, you get a wage. Yeah. But you can't, an income and a wage is totally separate, separate things. Yeah, I mean, he does, man. He, he, I mean, he will pay 40% on it if he keeps it in America, but he might keep it overseas. I mean, he doesn't, he probably, he probably doesn't pay, don't pay, he don't pay nothing. But Super but rich like, don't pay taxes. He's a, he's a so-called Jew. Right. Yeah. So, he's got, got a free ride. Rules. He's yeah. got a, he got a, he's a free ride all the way. And plus, 
Uh, he takes a, a lot of that money that he makes, he's sending over there to, to Israel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's helping uh, build up the empire that's about to be destroyed. Because the so-called Jews, they control America. Yeah. You know, Jews own everything in Columbus. You got uh, Wexner. Who else is one of the top rich dudes? Uh, Schottenstein. Yep. They build the MI homes. Yep. Uh, what, what else? What's the other? What's the big dude? Uh, Going downtown, they own them buildings downtown. All the downtown. They come to this spot. Wilder. What's his name? Wilder. Yeah, Wilder. You hear about Wilder? He owns all kind of property. Yeah. They're all so yeah, called. They got they under different rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I feel you know globalization is uh, I mean, it's either going to be a fascist globalization dictatorship, or it's going to be a utopian society. And I mean, I think the, the best way, the best thing for the people is, you know. You didn't even mention a godly society, though. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, you told me this. You know, yeah, that sounds like that sounds like new age. Yeah. You know, I think you know the, the main thing for if everybody was guaranteed universal health care and universal education, everybody would get ahead. So we'd be able to play the victim card. You know, Who the hell would want health care? Who would want to go to one of these hospitals? Who would want universal? Healthcare? You go education. in there because you know they give you some uh, some drugs. They made up in a laboratory that's going to give you five more diseases than what you had before. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, say, you know, you say you break your leg, right, and you don't have insurance. Right. And then you get stuck with a $40,000 hospital. You don't go to the hospital, you can set it yourself. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you go to, you, you, I mean, you can go to any hospital right now, and they don't turn people away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it just fucks your credit up, you know, but I mean, it's not credit, right? What is credit? That's some imaginary money. That's right. You know what I mean? These people think it's real, right? Whatever it is, imaginary money. Yeah, yeah, it's not a reserve. Money. All right, man. Yeah. Let me go back into a got to be a home section. It was just a retard. You don't know shit. <laughs> yeah. You don't know shit. You can't tell them shit either. It's like now, all of a sudden, everybody are experts on the economy. I don't give a fuck. Man. I'm trying to talk about the Bible. You're wearing some motherfucking 3D glasses. We ain't at the movie theater. I'm talking about if you want to live in a utopia. Yeah, that's part of yeah, Utopia, that sounds like some Logan Runs shit, man. A utopia, that sounds like something scary, actually. Uh, you tell me. Man on the feet. It looked like that's Chris Farley. That's a pad. That's a pad. And you know they're going thick them, too. Thick them, too. Did you get pad on here? So we don't be in too much fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's just yeah. You know what, man? There's so many freaks and weirdos out here, man. There's so many fucking faggots. It's like we're at the fucking circus. It's just, no, yeah, it's like we're at the fucking circus, man. It's just a bunch of foul spirits out here, man. Unless you come down here and see it. Man. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You can't, so y'all can't think straight sometimes with all this weird shit out here, man. <laughs> Oh, it's your boy. He eluded the cops, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's about to knock a motherfucker she out. Like she didn't want to talk to the cops anyway. She turned him away. Yeah, but that bitch had a fucking mustache. She didn't call the cops, but somebody else did. What does he call? He left the CD over here. Uh, Romans 1 and 24. I'm glad that dude walked away, too. <laughs> I didn't like it. Looking like Pugsley off the Adams family. Yeah, he did look like a member of the Adams family. Oh, Mr. Two. Wanting to fuck your head up, man. He's wanting to fuck somebody up and doing something stupid. Think about this bitch, man. <laughs> He's probably going where she going because she got on the bus. She probably oh, going exactly where she's going to. Oh, yeah, she would. Yeah, the nigga walked 20 miles to go get his bitch, man. 20, 30 miles, not nah, stop. Hell yeah. No, you gotta think with a clear head, man. But these it's hard to do that when these bitches. These bitches, are, these bitches are totally out of order, man. What's your CD? What is it? I don't know. Go check that CD out. It'll be a bomb. It's a CD bomb. Somebody threw some rapping shit at you. Get that shit on camera. What is it? Peyote cupcakes. It's some music. Somebody see these shit. Somebody threw that shit. Man, yeah. props on our way. Life and drugs, airtight. I bet you that shit is terrible. <laughs> I bet some motherfucking rap. Peyote cupcakes. Beaver Hayes. I bet you it's the worst music. I can't wait to listen to it, though. Oh, man. You gonna throw that shit right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Use it as a coaster. Ain't no rap if we both listen to it. Oh shit, yeah, I bet it is rap. <laughs> I fucking hate rap, dude. That is the most demonic shit you could ever possibly listen to. <laughs> like, as like, soon as we said that motherfucker robot bumping that shit. <laughs> And, every, and everybody you see the bumps that shit look ignorant and retarded as fuck. Every last person will bump that little Wayne on this other bullshit. Just look at the person listening to it. They look retarded. They look like actual fucking retards. You know what I mean? They remind you. They look like them damn weasels off the of Roger Rabbit. You remember the weasel always laughing all and giggling all the goddamn time? Just a bunch of fucking fools, man. I hate people always clowning this shit all the time. And then you listen to the rap, you listen to the lyrics of the rap music, they ain't even saying nothing deep. It ain't deep whatsoever. It's just a bunch of rapping about some retarded shit. It's some demonic shit, man. It's some garbage. It's just pure fucking filth. <laughs> well, here you go. Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? Uh, and worship and serve the Creator, the, I'm sorry, worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever, amen. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affection. Yeah, being a faggot, that's a vile affection. That's filthy, man. Like we already said, the, the CDC came out with a study that said like over half of America is infected with STDs. Hey, that's filthy, man. Don't you know STDs can fucking kill you? Except the sentence they said that motherfuckers Americans on drugs. Yeah, oh yeah, they said uh, pharmaceutical drug. Yeah, over 70% of Americans are on pharmaceutical drugs. And that's just the reported cases. That's just the people actually getting prescriptions and going to buy it from the drugstore. But then you got the underworld. Yep. So really the real closest number is really like damn near 100%. It's, it's in the 90% range. Over 90% of Americans are fucking hooked on drugs. And they said the number one drugs that they hooked on are opiates. So that's why everybody's in a dreamlike state. They all high on fucking pills. When you get high on Oxycontin all day, you can't fucking think straight. They get high on Oxycontin pills, playing some goddamn Xbox and PlayStation all day online and shit. That's all they do. Imagine going two, three, four, five, six years straight getting high off of that shit. How your mind, re you know how it functions, man. You're a fucking retard. Perka, sniffing, sniffing fucking purple. <laughs> they sniff that shit, man. Sniffing fucking purple. Fuck. Oh, shooting the shit up. The it, fuck? Not on that shit. They take that antidepressant pills, which turns you. It, it just makes you go completely into la 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 land. Put you in a fantasy land. These bitches, they, they'll uh, they'll take those uh those antidepressant pills constantly. Then they take them, yeah, constantly. Then one day they're all happy. They got a razor blade pulling their face off. Hey, They're slicing hey. the babies to pieces. Hey, there's one friend I know that's on that shit, man. Like, fucking every so often, they got a upper doses, man. And she told me that, like, about a couple months ago, she told me they trying a new drug. They testing a new drug on her. And she looks forward to it. She loves it. She calls her her happy girl. <laughs> it makes you crazy. She's crazy, all right? It does. It makes you crazy. You can't, you can't really trust somebody on those drugs. They, they could... Years and years of taking them. Man, that shit fuck your so, yeah, up. somebody like that, yeah, you baby stab you in the sleep with a butcher knife while you're sleeping. Really? Getting high on that, altering your brain chemistry. It's mainly women, though. Yeah, it is mainly women. They, they're so weak. That's one of them antidepressants. It's mainly women. They already messed up enough. Right, they're stable, right. They're just stable. Fucking antidepressants, man. That make men sterile and shit, man. Make them impotent. So a good Jew convention yeah, just let out. We're talking about having, uh, what that fact was talking about, having an uh, erectile dysfunction. You be taking Viagra then for damn sure. And then you about to shit when you read the labels of these, uh, these, these drugs, man. There's 
the shit that it causes. Everybody's on that shit. Everybody's on that shit. Everybody. I mean, it's an official. I mean, it's an official report. I think that's what I'm Over 70% of these motherfuckers are high on drugs. I think I got something to say about these women. Because Russia did a, re did, a, uh, did a report on that uh, American women, uh, uh, how most of them are on uh, antidepressants. And this was just last like we're like under a few days attack. ago. What's up, man? What are you uh, Chinese? You Chinese? Yeah. Look, uh, you know your bill? What's so funny, man? <laughs> you know, is that funny? Can you, oh, you, understand you understand English? You understand English? Yes, we do understand. You understand yes. English? Uh, Who is government a terrorist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You don't believe that? Okay. How do they treat your people? How does you you as what? How, are how you, was, huh? Are you a U.S. citizen? I am a U.S. citizen. Okay. So, I, so I'm allowed to say that stuff. I'm an Israelite. You know what an Israelite is? You ever heard of Israelites before? Have you ever heard of the Israelites? You ever heard of a Moabite? You ever heard of a Moabite? Moabite. Moabite. That's your ancient name. If you're Chinese, that's your ancient name. Moabites. Yeah, Moabite. Moab. 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 That's not even familiar? Oh, no. The well, that's your government's fault for um, teaching y'all that you're Chinese. Are you a OSC student? Hell no. Yeah, we're students of the most hard. Yeah, we students. Yeah, we, we're apostles. You know what an apostle is? Have you have you ever read the Holy Bible? Yes, I have a Bible. You have a Bible? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? No, no. You don't believe in Jesus Christ? We have a Bible. You have a Bible, but you don't believe in Jesus Christ? So that's why you're uh, you're labeled as heathens. They used to be heathens. Did you read about heathens in the Bible? When you, <laughs> hey. you can't tell him what he teaches. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Alright, he Take it easy on my cat. <laughs> can't teach no so you can't teach no heat. So you can't talk to a heat. Well, he's trying to talk to him. It's hard. Kind of vibration. Yeah, it's like, it's like. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like, it's like you're like, you Chinese, and it's like, ha ha. Oh, Ashley, what's so funny? And he laughs. He's just like, ha 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 ha. Oh, that is funny. Ah, you call me Chinese, ha, oh, he funny. It's oh, some crazy shit, man. And you see that bitch's face? That oh, shit is all shit. fucked up. <laughs> she looked like something like out of a park. They was gonna go eat some roaches real they soon. They have a Bible, but they don't believe in the Lord, though. Bit, bit, yeah, bitch got a lot. Teeth is this goddamn long. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible's just a popular book with the people. It's just a popular book to buy that they read. That they, you know, they, Did you get those heathen they're not camera? a yeah. oh, They're okay. just curious. Cause they man. They cause... just see everybody else reading. They're just curious. They read it, don't feel no connection to it, no nothing. Man. And you can just feel the spirit. So you're not going to tell me all people are saying, oh, right. we're, all you, one, you talk to we're all one humanity. We're all the same. We're all human. <laughs> Nah, oh, man, there's a difference between everybody. That's proof, man. The Lord made a difference. Those man. people are totally different. You can't hang out with those people. What kind of fucking, if you had to hang out with them for a night, what kind of evening would that be? Yeah, you're going to end up eating cat by the end of the night. Yeah, man, I, do, I don't even want to know what they do for fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of social activities oh, they be involved in? one we separate the scriptures, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's proof that all people are not the same. Right, we're not you can't right. tell me that everybody's the same. You can't tell me that. That's retarded. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Those are straight up heathens right there. You know what I'm saying? I got There's a powerful one in Acts, too. Anybody know about the one in Acts, right? Let me read this. Um, Second Ezra is um, 6 and 53. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Yeah, so we all come from Adam. So everybody on earth comes from Adam. You know And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So, but he said, and the people that you have chosen. He didn't say everybody was chosen. You know going. <laughs> All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our 
see. So the Lord made a world for his chosen people, okay? He said he made a world for our sakes. He so he made the world for us. Okay. It's like the world's like a gift from the most high. To enjoy it for us. Yeah, because Earth is really a paradise. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be again. Yeah. It's gonna be again after the nuclear missiles purified this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the earth, that's the ultimate gift. Plus the Lord said in the kingdom, he said in my father's house and many mansions. So there's more than one beautiful planet like this one. There's gonna be a bunch more of them. Yeah, but they literally take that in their father's house, there's many mansions. Like on, as face body. They, don't, uh, they can't, one, they can't got, see that spiritually. He got property down on Broadway or something. <laughs> that's retarded. Right, right, right. Yeah, because the scriptures tell you the, where the Lord's mansion is, though. Yeah, it is all through the Psalms. I can get all kind of scriptures on that. He tells you he lives out there, and the whole universe is his house. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice say. Put that old. That's my phone. <laughs> Her asshole got blown out. Yeah, it's, it's they be doing that. These bitches' assholes be getting blown out. Cause oh, so they be fisting each other. <laughs> they fist each other. They, with their fists. they do all kind of foul shit, man. No. Hey, look at all the porn, porn, uh, pornos on the on the internet. Those are real people in those pornos. Actually, right. and there's millions and there's probably billions of pornos. What am ain't, I talking about? Trillions. Ain't Android. Yeah, they come I mean, out with. Twenty new videos every five it, minutes. It, there's, there's endless. You'll never see the same bitch twice in a video. You know what I'm saying? It's just the porno is endless. You can't get away from it either. You go to any site on the internet, you get caught up and hit with an ad about some porno. A bit, a picture of a bitch sucking a dick will pop up. You be on a video game site, a fucking a bitch will come out. <laughs> Deep throat and a big yeah, ass. Deep, deep throat, some motherfuckers just pop out of nowhere like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I was some crazy shit we living in, man. Oh my goodness. Hey, yeah. It's some crazy videos in those uh, I don't we don't need to talk too crazy. Hey, hey, we just we just being, being truthful. Keeping it real. I can yeah, we can only bring out Keeping with the, it real. We can only bring out what the spirit allows us to bring out. That's right. That's right. some foul shit though. That's the truth though. You get on the internet, go to any site, dicks popping out, <laughs> pussies popping out, all kind of weird shit. You get hit with all kind of shit, man. All kind of faggot shit too. That's popular. Y'all know it's shit. true, yeah. That's that popular shit now. Yeah. Yeah. Like And you see goddamn Ron Jeremy everywhere. Hey, yeah, just say. Let me start back at 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Yes, yeah, so the world was created for us. I gotta switch the back to that. Okay, uh, as for the other people, which also come from Adam. So the other people that come from Adam, not the cho this is what the Lord has to say about the heathens. Thou hast said that they are nothing. The Lord said they're nothing. They're this heathen. Is plain too. This is yeah. plain. I mean, what is nothing? That means zero. You know, I mean, that means you're nothing. You're a piece of nothing. You're, you're worthless, meaningless. A piece of shit has more value. Yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can take cow dung and make bricks out of that's it. That's right. They do something with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they make some adobe bricks. <laughs> but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them. Unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. It's a, Meaningless. It's a, it's Nothing. fucking spit. Worthless. Actually said they actually spit. Now that's not us saying that. We didn't make this shit up. That's in the Bible. You know what I mean? The Bible said that we're above all these other heathens, man. Because you get, it, and people, see, people so soft, you know, they, they get mad at the word of the Lord. They hear that. And then they block it out. They try to pretend that scripture's not in there. That's not in there. 
know what I mean? Right, here you go. This is Acts 17 and 26. Um, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Is that the one where their pa parents turned into pigs or yeah, something? Yeah, she looked like that witch off that movie, okay. Spirited Away. How for us, she looked just like her. I was trying to... <laughs> A lot of people, that's a popular movie. Right. Let me read this again. Acts 17 and 26. Um, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the time before appointed in the bounds of their habitation. Yeah, so yeah, so the Lord, even before the Lord even created the earth, he had set it up so Israel was gonna be kings of the earth, all right? And then we was gonna rule over all the heathen, because really the heathen was created for us, you know what I mean? When the Lord created the earth, yeah, he made more than one type of man. Because not only, there was different types of men. That's why a lot of these, uh, well, they're just heathens, man. Okay, I got to get a scripture for you to back it up. Ephesians 1 and 4. Actually, let me start a, uh, let me just start a 1. Ephesians 1. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Ephesians 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints, which are at Ephesus, to the faithful in Yahweh Shad. Grace be to you in peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Yahweh Shai. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. All right, now this is the point right here. He said, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. <laughs> having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So, yeah, so it said we was predestined. He said he chose us before the earth was even created. He just read a couple of scriptures that told you that uh, the Lord created the earth for us, you know what I'm saying? And he had, he had appointed us to be rulers of this earth before the earth was even born. And he said he created the heathen specifically, specifically to serve us. They're nothing. He said the heathens are nothing. I mean, that's clear as day, it's all through the Bible. Because the New Testament, that's saying the same thing as the Old Testament that he just read. Right. Saying the exact same thing. Right. He said we was predestined. The Lord created the earth for us. Hmm. Here you go, um, you got more on that? Uh, yeah, let me read this little piece right here. It said, To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. So, yeah, you can't do shit unless you're calling on the name of your house side. You ain't calling on your house side. The Lord's not dealing with you. It's only an Israelite that's important. Yeah, it's only an Israelite believing in the Bible, man. That's right. That's like when we talk to a heathen, God, if, if you don't believe in the Bible, that's, that's like pretty much proof that you're a heathen. You know what I mean? But you got some Israelites that don't believe. You know what I'm saying? They like it under two a heathen. I know a terror, a sister, dark skinned and dark than a motherfucker, man. She don't believe nothing in the Bible, she don't believe in a, a higher power. It's just a straight up goddamn demon. That's a special kind of hair. And I asked her, why don't you ever uh, be give me dances, lap dances? Show me you got some rhythm. She's like, I've never been that type of person. I don't never dance. I don't, I don't like dancing. She's darker than a motherfucker, man. She a fucking tear. So you see a hand wipe? She a heater wipe. Yeah, you see, you got heater wipe. Yeah, you got black heater wipe. see that all the time. Straight up heater wipe. Amos, um, Amos 3, and I'm going to start at 1. Amos 3, 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2. Um, 
Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Yeah, against you. So the Lord speaking to the Israelites. Go on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Yeah, because the Lord brought us out of Egypt through the Exodus. But like now we live in America. America is a modern day Egypt. Obama's the Pharaoh. Keep going. You only have.